Hi everybody, this is Miss B Finance One on One. I am so excited I'm back this week. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. But I wanted to talk real quick about x -Cup. You know, uh, most of us uh, don't understand this concept, but I think this concept, I've talked about it before, is one of the key to our financial freedom. So what does it mean? x curve means uh, we have one curve that is your responsibility curve and we have the other curve that is actually is right here This is your wealth building curve and this is your responsibility curve So we all know we are all gonna grow from being young to old That is a given that is in any life. You're gonna grow from being young to old two things need to happen When you're young, you need to start putting money away your money need to grow, 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 grow. So that when you're older, you become more secure and you have a lot of wealth. Make sense? Over here, when you're young, you still don't have a lot of wealth. Okay? Because you have so much responsibility. This is where we have our kids. We have our debts. Uh, our kids' college to plan for. Our debts to pay off our parents to take care of so and our biggest responsibility is actually our ability to bring home money now we know that ability also decreases with the time same thing as our ability you know now i have so much energy i can go out there do double shift if i was working i know that with the time i would be able to do that so one thing also need to decrease as my ability to work and bring home money is decreasing my responsibility need to be decreasing which mean I need to pay off my debt I need to make sure my kids are taken care of I need to make sure you know everything is my mortgage is taken care of I know most of us we, you know I had a very interesting weekend a friend of mine was showing me around our house and it was very beautiful and I was just like man you know I admire this person that you know, because the mortgage, honestly, if you don't pay it, that is a debt. So that's just another responsibility we have. And these responsibilities, they need to decrease with the time. They need to be decreasing with the time. The problem with most of us, and including myself, we keep on increasing responsibilities and so that when we are older, although our ability can no longer take care of those responsibilities, we have so much responsibilities and we end up not being able to retire. Now, this curve is only for people who are responsible. If some of us out there, we're not responsible. We don't want to take care of our family. That's fine. But if you're responsible, this video is for you. That you need to always, your responsibility curve is also your insurance curve. You always want to protect. When you're younger, you want to protect your ability. Your ability to make sure if anything happens when you're young, because two things are going to happen in life. You're going to live too long or you're going to die too soon. So those are going to happen. That's a given. But if you are younger and you're not able to pay, to take care of this responsibility, your kids, your house, you need to have a lot of a lot of insurance when you're younger. But as you grow older, as the kids go off and the house is paid off, the insurance need also decreases. Your wealth curve is also your investment curve. So what does this mean? For example, I had a client who asked me, Betty, why did you give me a term insurance of 700000 and you also gave me um, a, a permanent solution of insurance? And this was what I told him. I'm like, look, let's just talk about the X curve. Right now, you have so much responsibility. You have two little kids, you have a mortgage worth of half a million, you have two little kids, you have a very high responsibility. You don't have a million dollars with you right now. Is that true? He said, yes, I don't have a million dollars. But I'm telling him, look, you are worth a million dollars because your house is worth half a million dollars. You yourself, if, if anything happened, I'm sure you don't want your kids to be on the street. And that's why we have the term insurance for half a million dollars and 200000 to take them to college. So if anything were to happen before you have a million dollars, at least these kids, their future will be secured. 
But with the time, these kids are going to go to college, they, which means your responsibility will be decreasing. So you wouldn't need much of that term um, life insurance with time, which is true. You wouldn't need much of it because they're going to grow off and go on their own. Make sense? And she was, he was like, yeah, that makes sense. That's why you gave me this because my responsibilities are going to decrease. So when you're younger, you have a lot of responsibility. You need a lot of insurance. Insurance is your investment when you're older when you have all that money saved up already those money become your insurance your investment become your insurance makes sense anyway this is miss b finance one-on-one -on -one. uh this is a little technical but it's simple you need to decrease your responsibility as you grow older don't add a new wife most of us, the problem is we become married, we keep on increasing responsibility. You know, we finish college, we want to add more debt onto it. No, you need to decrease your responsibility. 60s is not the time to pick up a new mortgage, okay? That is the time to build up your wealth. This is Miss B Finance 101, and I hope to see you at the top. Thank you so much.